Hi Universe! Alright, welcome to the messy desk and I'm going to show you a little bit about the, all the upgrades and all the new parts uh, on the Proto for the pen car, the 112 pen car. So let me go through quickly the original FP uh, as it stands today and then I will go on to all the upgraded parts. So it is a pen uh, this is the original design that came from the trike, so it's a no. A tip plate is made with flex cuts, what I call flex cuts, at the back of the chassis over there, so it's a single piece chassis. The front end is a separate part that includes uh, the servo, the C hubs, and it can be mounted as a floating front end or as a rigid front end. At the moment, it is. Uh, semi-rigid is pretty much rigid here and then on the chassis itself there are a lot of different uh, stiffening parts that can be added or removed so you have the stiffening bars on the side here there is of course the rear bar for the body post uh, and the battery hold there are different battery hold uh, options for it this is the super shorty version and then on my current setup I'm running a tri damper tube with springs so I have gold springs in each of those tubes and in the center one as well and so the lateral is pretty the, the grease is pretty stiff uh, it's it's nice like that it's it's really well dampened laterally and then the middle is but there's not a lot of movement because I really don't have a lot of right height my tires are pretty low but um, it's pretty composed like that. This is the best I've had the chassis running. I'm running a 2S setup with a Blinky, a 60 amp ESC 13.5 turn motor. I have my 112 R6 in the front and then a JFT tires at the back. Those I believe must be matrix or some other tires I'm not sure but GFT really is are, are the way to go for those so this is the original pan it is based on based on old uh, classic 1.8 chassis and so here is the new one let me plug this in so it will not look messier than it actually is and so you can see same wheelbase this is a 210 mil wheelbase let me show you, let me get my trusty ruler with me. You'll see it is not a 200. So it's slightly less than, it's like 2.7 or something like that. But uh, it's very close to 2.10. So it is a longer wheelbase than most pan cars. And this is, I'm missing a screw here, so the bumper is moving. So the new chassis, a completely different chassis plate. A completely different uh, philosophy for the way it is cut at the back. This is the system that I had designed for my pen car called the PCOO. When I have the flex plates, the flex cuts uh, on the sides to hold the pod, and then the battery is centered. Um, front hand is the same, but you can see the chassis is much wider than the original one. The original width pretty much is the width that you have here. So this is, there's a lot more surface uh, above the floor. Uh, same front end, like I said, so the front end can be mounted floating. And now I am uh, printing a few different ways to have the right height. So of course, originally you can, um, you can change the height by adding some of those um, spacers underneath the C-Hub so I have 2 mils and 1.5 mil spacers for that and I have much larger ones that are printed as well or you can add uh, different plates underneath here it's just uh, the depending how you want to to change the height of the car um, I tend to put the plates on right now just because it lowers the flex of the C-Hubs and the more you get the, the C-Hubs high, the more they're going to tend to flex on really hard bumps. But right now I've been running it with no spacers on the tests uh, today because the track was so bumpy. So the front is pretty, pretty high as it is. And then the battery is a single position battery in this setup. 
let me show you what the centerpiece is. So this is the centerpiece when you have so shorty lipo of course you can run super shorty you can run the tall one you can run the lcg like i'm running on the 1s no matter what setup you have this is the low center of gravity 2s so it's the same size as a 1s lipo and this has a lot of configuration options right now i have everything on and then i'm going to start playing around with the setup to see um what works better but i've tried to design those with the maximum amount of options so you have the same mounts for damper tubes or shocks like on the previous version then there is this wider cut here in order to fit the damper plates which i'm going to show you soon and then on the lower part of course the body posts are at the extremity here but nothing stops you from putting them on the inside as well if you want and then you have different mounts if you want to run dampers lateral dampers here to the center and there are other mounts for uh, putting some uh, side springs like I'm going to show you as well and so here you have a mount for a damper or a shock knowing that this is here so you can run uh, pretty much from the center of the chassis to this part here you could even run it to the front if you want it over there directly at the bottom of the chassis there is a mounting screw here for the front deck and then of course you have more options at the back to where you want to put it so you can just adjust the way um, the old articulation works in the car and then for the battery hold itself you have six mounting points so once again you can mount everything like i've done here or you can leave some unmounted in order to add flexibility to the bottom and so at the moment i am running absolutely everything together so i have uh, the side springs here which are from ride i am running a damper here that has a silver spring on the inside and then i'm running Oh, these have went out. I'm running the dual uh, damper plates with the o-ring inside and the grease and then I have two silver springs up and down so there is a springiness for the droop there is a springiness for the top uh, you can see that the dampening for the up and down is going to be done by the tube as well as by the plate and of course the spring here is going to act you can tell that this is the spring the main spring for the rear but that adds all the adjustabilities that uh, you can you can play with and then the side springs here so of course you can run them without but i would just add them as an option and i've only drove with those on today and i'm yet to see what it looks like without but it was a fantastic drive today with this setup on the car uh, i've played with more or less um, stiffness at the rear you can have it really really stiff you can even add it to the point where uh, the chassis doesn't bottom to the floor which i don't think is a good thing but you could do it technically and then the new things compared to the older chassis are those mounting points here the one on the top will be for a 13 mil 30 mil fan if you want so those are spaced for the screw mount for a regular fan and then you have mirrored holes at the bottom that are countersunk and so those i just put them here so i can add in the future various options to maybe mount a wing or mount a rear diffuser or what have you so uh, this diff i really need to do something about it it's there's something wrong with this new setup I'll do a video on the on the new setup since the Team Saxo is vaping. And on the side plates here, of course, I have those brand new uh, diffusers that are just before the rear tires. And I'm not sure which of all of those is providing such suction at the back, but everything put together the rear the, the the chassis of the car is really planted on the floor it's amazing at high speed how much it just sucks up all the bumps 
you can probably see on the video and compare it with my other running videos from the pen cars when the pen cars just jump all over the place in the straight line and they just don't with this so this is cool it's something that you have as well on some of the classic 1.8 pen cars chassis uh, the nitros and the electrics so this is something that i found was pretty cool and they have you see the space made available for the spring to be where it's supposed to be over there and so this is the setup i'm running right now like i explained in a video i'm not really happy about the new uh, team saxo um well let me show you what i what i mean while i'm here they, they changed something which doesn't make any sense uh, normally at the end of the of the diff you have the pressure plates usually you have two pressure plates which are uh, concave and you press them against each other and then you have a a bearing that has two dish and a ball bearing in the in the middle and the new thing doesn't it just came with four pressure plates and it just doesn't work because you need uh, you need to be able to press but you need to have the the bearing uh, mobility in order for the diff to really work smoothly so this is not smooth at all I was pretty much running it like a spool today which is amazing for acceleration but not so much fun in the slow corners so this is something I'm gonna have to figure out and sort out with the new Team Saxo uh, diff but it is what it is at the moment regardless of that uh, I have to say I'm super pleased with the the way this came out for the first run, you can see how much uh, I, I've been scraping the floor. This is a first run of production. They made a mistake. They didn't countersink this hole. They just punched a giant hole through it. So I need to figure out a way just to attach the bumper here. I had a screw, but it was scraping too much. So I'm going to have to figure out something just for now until I receive the newer one. And for once, um, although I'm going to have the first... Uh, chassis all in FRP. I really think this might uh, benefit from the luxury of carbon fiber for the, the just the, the little uh, improvement in flex that is going to have with the FRP. So I think I'm going to price it and put a back order later on when everything will be completed just for a carbon version which of course is going to be way more pricey but it's going to be a back order I'll, I'll I'll cut per order the carbon for whoever wants but that is it for now let me show you the little PC that this came from so I have one here this is the my PC01 and so you can see where this design comes from uh, battery is mounted flat in the middle and the pod is mounted on those two side plates that are acting as springs and then at the center of the chassis it is mounted so those are differently cut because it is not the same amount of weight and um, it is just a different animal but it is very very similar uh, basically I've changed the FP from the front to the back with this situation here so you still have a very 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 simple setup to begin with which is basically uh, damper plates springs and then you can go nuts and just play around with absolutely any kind of options you want you could even have side shocks uh, and a shock at the center you are I mean sky is the limit with whatever you want to do and because uh, it has the same pods as all the other formula cars that I'm making there is a fairly heavy back end so the grip is pretty phenomenal at the back and especially if you're running JFT tires on the on the tarmac those are absolutely amazing on asphalt so here you go this is what I have for now um, everything is lower than before as well I think it's uh, overall it's a really good upgrade and I'm gonna keep on testing I have different servo savers I have a year racing servo saver somewhere that I've received that I'm going to put which is the same one I'm running on my other car so this way I'm gonna be able to really play with the same bodies same everything same electronics and just see um, 
what's going to be the difference in, in timing and handling between the two cars, between the original one and that one. And so that is going to be it for this little presentation of the Proto, and I will be back hopefully with some uh, track time on both the cars and some comparison shots and then some more feedbacks and updates on that. So on that note, everybody stay safe and sane and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.